Okay, our first word is interesting. You may have not heard this word before. It's humus. Humus. The pronunciation is humus. Sometimes people get a little confused about that. But humus. Think about another word that's pronounced very similarly, but is a different word. Human. But this is humus. So human. Humus. Similar pronunciation at the beginning. Humus, not human. <laughs> okay, and also be careful because humus is not hummus. Hummus is a food from the Middle East. Humus is the part of a of soil made from dead plants or animals. So don't get them confused, right? Ugh, I want some humus for dinner. Ugh, that's horrible. That's disgusting. But hummus is very delicious and it's very nutritious. It's a good food for you. So it's interesting.、Uh, uh, hummus, H U M M U S. Hummus. Oh yeah, that's a food. Okay. So be careful with these words, pronunciation, and don't get it mixed up with the food from the Middle East. Okay. Hummus. Okay. Good. Next word. Grain. Grain is a very small piece of a hard thing,、uh, not a soft thing, right? A hard thing. So, very good example. When you go to the beach, what do you find at the beach? You find a lot of sand near the water, right? If you pick up that sand, is it all together? No, it's in little pieces. And you let the sand fall through your fingers, through your hand, until just one piece is left. Just one piece of sand, and we call that a grain of sand. But grain is also used for many types of food. Like if you have wheat or rice, what you have a lot of rice. You pick up rice; it all falls through your hand. But you have one piece of rice left, and that piece of rice is a grain of rice. So grain is a very small piece, one single piece of a hard thing. But it usually occurs in large quantities, right? Rice, wheat, sugar, sugar. You can have a grain of sugar. Mm, sweet. Okay. Anyway, that's grain. Okay. Dig. Do you like to dig <laughs> in, in your yard? Now, a lot of people, unfortunately, don't have yards. We live in high-rise apartments. But if you have a backyard, you might dig a hole to put a plant, to put a plant in it. Now, here we have an animal that's a professional digger. It digs for a living. Well, it digs because it lives underground. It's called a mole. M O L E. This is a type of animal, right? That is a mole, and they dig in the ground. They're very good at digging in the ground. Many animals like to dig in the ground. Your dog, if it gets the chance, might like to dig a hole in the ground. So to dig, okay. And here we have a video of a rabbit <laughs> digging. Rabbits live underground. They will make their home. Underground and rabbits can dig a hole. They can they'll dig and make a little tunnel and they'll live in a hole with their family. And this is just an example of a a rabbit. Looks like a rabbit in a zoo or maybe some kind of、um, place where you can go see them. And they gave it some dirt because a rabbit's instinct is to dig. Okay, next collect. Collect means to gather. Right? You want to get many different pieces of something and Bring it all together, you collect it. So to come or to bring together from other places.、Uh, another word that's very similar to collect is gather. To gather, it means to、uh, get many pieces of something and to bring them all together in a pile or、uh, some kind of organi organized pile, organized stack to collect. To bring together from other places. Okay. Decompose. Interesting word. Decompose. When something dies, or you know, when you eat something like an apple, right? You eat the apple. Do you eat the whole apple? You don't eat the 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 core of the apple. You you throw it away. Well, what happens to it? It breaks down over time. Sun, wind,、uh, rain. Uh, earth, 
you know, if it gets uh, trampled, um, it will break down over time and it will rot also by itself, right? It will turn brown and, and turn into a liquid and, you know, kind of go into the ground, decompose. That's for dead plants or dead animals will break down naturally and they'll become part of the soil. And what do you call that? Humus, right? Okay, that's what we learned at the beginning. Okay, so decompose. Weather. Now, the weather is very powerful sometimes, and it's always there. So, over a long time, the weather can have very dramatic effects, but it takes a long time. Well, sometimes it can have a very dramatic effect over a short time, if it's a hurricane or cyclone or typhoon. Uh, to change under the action of the weather is here. So weather, it's, it's a different meaning. Now, we know what the weather is. The weather is, is it sunny? Is it raining? Is it windy? Is it cold? Is it hot? That's the weather. But to weather something means to, uh, to change or to, to have an effect of change over a long time because of the weather. So it's a little bit of a different sense. Weather to, to, um, yeah, to change, to, to have an effect. I'm trying to make a different definition for it. To have an uh, reaction, I'm sorry, a reaction, not an reaction, a reaction to in the environment, to the environment. Because it's, oh, sorry, environment. It's not just the weather that you can weather. For example, let's say you have a bad experience in your life and you survive it, but it teaches you something. So even though that's not the weather, it's a bad experience, you weathered it. And hopefully you became stronger because of it. So to weather means to endure or to change because of the weather. Now, this is an interesting picture. Like I said, I grew up in the southwest of America. We can see many examples of this. Uh, the Grand Canyon is a good example. Of course, the Grand Canyon was formed by a river, but many of the rocks that are still standing, the wind has been pushing them for centuries, right? For hundreds of years, sometimes thousands of years in some parts of the desert. And you can see that the rocks have strange shapes. They have some fantastic shapes sometimes, some amazing shapes. And that's because the wind has been weathering the rocks for a very long time. So to change under the action of the weather is also to weather. So it's a little bit of a different idea. It's not the weather, it's to weather, okay? To change under the action of the weather. Okay, next. We have mixture. So remember I was talking before about sand, rice, sugar, wheat, right? Let's say you mixed all those together. All those little grains, you mixed them together. So you have lots of, lots of grains of different things together. That is a mixture, okay? If you like to eat grains for cereal, like uh, granola, granola is a mixture of different grains. You probably have wheat in there. You might have rice. You have some nuts in there. You might have some berries in there. So that's a combination of different things. They're all mixed together. It's delicious when you eat it for breakfast. Okay. Next we have pile, right? We saw that picture before when we saw collect, right? Collect, you gather. When you gather things together, when you collect them, you probably make a pile of something. And your pile can be very neat and straight if, if the things that you are collecting are like square or easy to, to build on. If they're not square, they're round, they kind of roll around like marbles, then you just kind of have a little pile of things. And it's hard to put marbles on top of each other. But if you have something else, you know, you just make a pile. And sometimes your pile can look like this. If it's if it's, uh, you know, blocks or squares, you can make a pile that's very neat. But usually a pile of something, it looks like, kind of looks like this, right? That's a pile. So a pile of leaves, a pile of sand, a pile of grains of something. A number of things on top of each other. Okay, that's our vocabulary for today. Lesson 6 Soil Humus 
The part of soil made of dead plants or animals. Grain. A very small piece of a hard thing. Dig. To make a hole in the ground. Collect. To come or bring together from other places. Decompose. For dead plants or animals to break down. Weather. To change under the action of the weather. Mixture. A combination of different things. Pile. A number of things on top of each other.